the full moon rises on another episode of Werewolf Gaming, and I have a confession for you all. I still play Neopets. I know, I know, it's my secret shame. I even got into their weekly newsletter, the Neopian Times, by making an article about Wereloops. Because of course I would do that. And Wereloops are exactly what we're going to be discussing in this month's episode, all about an interesting little PS2 game Neopets created called The Darkest Fairy. For those of you who didn't get into the Neopets craze back in the 90s and early 2000s, you might be surprised to find that Neopets actually has quite a bit of lore and history to its characters and plot lines. It's very fleshed out and sometimes surprisingly deep, especially with the underlying plot of this game, the rise and fall of the city of Altador. To make a long story very short, Altador was a loop who saw corruption in the world and wanted to found his own city that would be a beacon of light and justice. Along the way, he gathered up 11 others who had proven they were pure and mighty of heart to help found his city. One of those he befriended was a dark fairy, who saved him from a terrible beast. This dark fairy ended up betraying him and trying to overthrow the other council members to rule Altador on her own but was turned to stone for a thousand years and imprisoned at the bottom of the sea, now known as the Darkest Fairy for her betrayal. And when she gets released after all that time, well, a good night's rest did not do her any good. Enter our heroes, Tormund the Loop and Roberta the Akara, who must stop the Darkest Fairy from taking over Neopia and save everyone from her dark magic. Pretty cut and dry hero's journey. But keeping with the theme of the show, one of the first missions in the game involves trying to save the Earth Fairy Illicent from a pack of Wereloops. And failing. Dark fairies don't play fair, man. But something that always struck me as odd is that if Wereloops are cursed loops, what are they cursed with exactly? Werewolves are usually humans turned into wolves. But these, these are wolves turned humanoid. A strange role reversal, wouldn't you say? And this isn't the only instance of a supernatural canine with human features, either. I would like to bring to your attention the Gen Minken, a monster and cryptid of Japanese folklore. These creatures are said to have the bodies of mangy dogs, but if one were to look at them from the front, they'd see an unnervingly human face. And by some accounts, they're said to be able to talk, usually to tell the witness to leave them be. Most real-world sightings of this creature may be attributed to a case of mistaken identity with the Japanese macaque. Small monkeys that are sometimes seen in suburban areas of Japan scrounging on the garbage of human society. Someone not used to these dog-sized monkeys could easily mistake them for a cryptid if they only catch a glance. But hey, who knows? Maybe there are dogs with human faces out there. The world's a weird place, but the human imagination can be even weirder. Neopets was a sight that sparked my imagination when I was little, and part of me is glad that it's still kicking after almost 20 years of life on the World Wide Web. Now, if only they'd put Fairyland back in the sky already. Aren't they done rebuilding yet? Oh well, can't win them all. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Werewolf Gaming. Next month, lock the doors and bar the windows. So that I'll see you when the next moon rises.